rolling truck there. You got that radio on? Yeah, go ahead. Well, we're over there at the Super Rigs here in uh, Selma, Texas. And uh, thanks for letting me tag along with you to uh, see this old girl uh, work. Tell me a bit about her. That's the 85 C59, extended hood. Uh, got an E-model cat, uh, 18 speed behind it with 336 rears. Um, we've had it for about two years and it was brown before and got in a wreck with it. We just redid it just recently here and got a 66 inch stub legal bunk we put on it. And obviously changed the colors a little bit and took it out to a 290 wheelbase. Then for you say uh, you changed the colors a little bit. Uh, uh, you changed them a lot there. That looks nice there. She came a long way from when she was brown. Yes, you sure did. Uh, what was uh, the inspiration for going with that uh, color scheme there? Uh, we wanted something a little brighter, and we wanted to keep it kind of more of a classic look, being the trucks in '85. You know, all of our trucks, you know, they're 379s, 389s, newer trucks. You know, completely different style. They got orange, you know, and everyone thought we were going to put orange on this, but that wasn't really a big color back then, so we just kind of wanted to keep the truck kind of period correct for what it is. It looks really awesome in the sunlight there. Thank you. So, uh, tell me what you got for a trailer there. That's a 2014 Mac flatbed. Uh, 49 foot. Uh, we sanded it down all the way up to a thousand, and then we had a guy Evan up uh, from Wisconsin there. He buffed it all out for us. I tell you what, it's got one heck of a shine there. I uh, think I did a good job on it. Now tell me about yourself. Uh, tell me who I'm talking to in there. Keegan Nelson, uh, 22. I've been doing. I've been trucking about about four years since I was 18. I uh, started out hauling milk and running dump truck and dump trailer around Wisconsin and then uh, been over here for about two years pulling flatbed and definitely love what I'm doing, what I've always wanted to do. Well, congratulations on uh, doing what you love and uh, you seem to be doing it in a pretty fine looking ride there as well. Yeah, I can't complain at all. Pretty blessed to have what I have and be able to do what I'm doing. Now, going back to the truck, I've not seen many double eagle uh, sleepers on the back side of uh, Peterbilt's there. Yeah, um, they were pretty big back in the day. Um, they're not really around anymore. They're kind of hard to come by and find parts for. And, uh, Vince came across one on a 379 and he bought the truck just for the bunk and day cabbed the truck and sold it and kept the bunk knowing one day down the road we're going to do something with it, you know. And, uh, and when time came to redo this truck, we knew we were going to put it on here. And, uh, it was pretty rough. We had to uh, reskin the whole thing, and uh, 12 gauge made us that uh, back stainless wall for it. We had we had to do a lot of work to it, but it came out pretty good. Kind of goes with the the era and theme of the truck we we're kind of going for. It. it looks like it came on the truck. Yeah, I'm happy with the way it turned out. It really kind of sets the look apart from a lot of the other ones. No, oh, this is one heck of a turn here. Yeah, this is nice. Well, uh, Keegan, we headed over from the site to where Super Rigs is being held. We ran down there and uh, grabbed a load. Tell me about that load you got and all the other stuff that you typically carry on that trailer. Uh, this is a 
the whole sign set up for you know, advanced auto parts uh, going up to Iowa, kind of get us back in the direction of home from Texas. Um, I usually just kind of run around uh, the Midwest, do a lot of Wisconsin, Minnesota, Illinois, Indiana, it's kind of that area. I don't go out too far. Once in a while I will, but I'm pretty local. Um, I haul a lot of plate steel, uh, structural steel, uh, a lot of stuff like that. Any other custom things done to the truck? Uh, anything on the interior that uh, you guys have done to, to really kind of refresh that truck? Uh, it's got uh, all new interior kit from Truck Guts there in Joplin. It's it's factory 259 interior, just fresh looking, and we went to buckskin color. It was a whole kit, interior carpet, stainless steel red console, and paint in the back side of the visor. Got the keep on trucking guys on the back side. That's about it on the inside. Kind of kept it original. Didn't want to get too carried away. Now, running a truck that age, do you find yourself in any situations where you're doing more maintenance or you're dealing with uh, more situations where uh, you're having to do repairs? Uh, tell me about that. Um, not so much. Um, it's got that newer E-model cat in it, so uh, that's nice. It's got all new cutoff from an 05 rear suspension. And, you know, mechanically it's pretty brought up to date, so it's kind of like an old hot rod with new technology in it. So that kind of helps out quite a bit. I'm sure that gives you peace of mind going down the road as well. Yeah, we put a uh, 379 car hauler front axle in it to kind of drop the front end down a little bit and get a few more revolutions out of the steering wheel. I could maneuver a little better with it and mechanically it's kind of like a new truck almost. How long has this truck been finished for? Uh, about a week or so. Well, this old girl is fresh out the paint booth then, huh? And you're bringing it right out to a show? Yeah, that was the goal to get it done for the Super Rig show. With Super Rigs, uh, everybody comes down and they, they look to see if they can get themselves on the calendar. How would you guys do with that? Well, they picked us for one on a spot, so that was pretty cool, kind of hoping to do that. And I always had these calendars every year back when I was a kid. And kind of always wanted to one day hopefully be on there, you know. Well, again, another congratulations for you, getting on the calendar and uh, having uh, America look at your truck there. That's going to be a good deal for you. Thank you, yeah. Very cool experience. What are some of the things that people see that they like when they come up to the truck there at the show? Oh, uh, get a lot of compliments on the color and how bright it is and kind of grabs your attention. Kind of hard to miss it. Uh, a lot of people like the fact that it's a 359, kind of an older truck. You don't really see as much of them around anymore, or as many of them. Yeah, I hear that. If some guy just came up to you and asked you, and they said, Hey, Keegan, uh, we want to do what you do. We want to pull a flatbed. Uh, what advice would you give them in getting started and, and uh, with some of the things that you have to deal with there? Um, experience is key, you know. I mean, yeah, I'm driving something cool right now, but I didn't start out that way, you know. I was running milk trucks and dump trucks to get my to get my experience before I could, you know, work my way up to something like this. And just kind of got to keep at it. Um, you know, it's not your typical nine to five, you know. You don't really punch in and punch out at the same time every day. You don't really have a, a set schedule, you know. You never know. You could get set back waiting to load or, you know, you could sit for a couple hours, you know. I guess you got your good days and your bad days and hopefully your good days outweigh the bad, but it's kind of got to keep at it. What are some of the things and challenges that you've uh, been able to overcome over the years? Well, weather is a pretty big one. Um, being an open flat like this, a lot of the, a lot of the stuff uh, we haul can't get wet. So a lot of the stuff has to be tarped, or steel, blasted steel, you know, whatever. The reason it doesn't have walls, you know, is a lot of salt, a lot of it is forklift, you know, unload from the roof or from the side or. So a lot of it, you're outdoors quite a bit. Most of the people that know what goes on with, with a flatbed, and they know it's not a get loaded, get in the truck and go situation. Right, yeah, you kind of do it all most of the time after you got to, you know, you're responsible for securing the load and strapping it and chaining it right, uh, making sure it's tarped if it has to be. And some of it's kind of a thinking game, you know, trying to put a puzzle load together or something, make it all fit. You kind of got to watch and help the guys that are loading you out. 
kind of watch them. And they really don't have a big plan on how they're going to do it, you know, so you got to kind of help them and watch and see what's going to fit where and, and make sure everything rides good and your straps are touching everything. And as we head back into here to Super Rigs, uh, where you can find yourself a spot, I want to say thanks for letting me come out and uh, film what you do and get the inside scoop on yourself or the truck there. I appreciate it. Thanks. Uh, nice catching up with you. I've seen your videos. And, uh, thanks for doing what you do and kind of in a bright light on this side of the industry. You got it, man. It's always my pleasure. Right, well, thanks again. Good running with you. I'll catch you later. You got it. I'll see you.